Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. Alright everybody, so for today's video, I'm super pumped because we are doing fall decor dupes from Kirkland's. You guys know that I absolutely love doing dupes. So, of course, we're gonna be using mostly Dollar Tree items, some items from Dollarama. And with all of that being said, you guys, let's get into the first DIY. All right, you guys, here we go with fall dupe DIY number one. And so this is obviously on Kirkland's. Isn't it so pretty? It's $28 and I knew that I could make it. It's actually, oh, it's so, so nice. So what I ended up doing is you see this leaf here. I cannot find the wood cutout leaves at Dollar Tree to save my life. So I just cut this out on uh, my Cricut um, using chipboard and it cut out amazingly with my maker. And then you can see here that I painted it white and I'm using these uh, gingham checked napkins. <laughs> Like, my brain is not functioning right now. These green checked napkins from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have a whole bunch of different colors. I really liked the green. You could use red too. I was looking for an orange. I could not find one that was appropriate. And you will see, I do have a kind of a light orange one, but I just didn't like it. Um, so I decided to go with the green. So I'm just using some Mod Podge, giving it a nice coat here, and then placing my napkin down onto my leaf, pushing it down, you know, not rubbing. We all know that if we rub the napkin down, it might tear and we do not want that to happen. And here I'm just, you know, dabbing some Mod Podge where the napkin didn't completely stick and making sure that all of the surface of this leaf is covered with this napkin. And so now I'm just going to dry that up with my heat gun and I am going to use a downward motion and just, you know, sand off all of that napkin. Now I did have to, well, first I just kind of tore it off so that I could get to the edges a little bit easier and using my sanding block, just going in and sanding off all of that napkin. And it ended up coming out really, really nice and clean. Now, um, in, in order, and I don't show it, but in order to get into those teeny little crevices, um, you can definitely use like a nail file and it works awesome. So, you know, just use a my, my little sanding block. This sanding block though is from Dollarama. It's a little bit thinner um, so that I could get into some of those smaller areas there. And then I decided just to rough up the edges just a little bit, bring out some of that white chalk paint that is underneath just so it looks a little bit more, you know, rough and rustic. There we go. Look at that. It looks awesome. And so this artist palette I got at Dollarama, I believe, I want to say it's either 12 by 12 or 10 by 10. I'm not 100% sure. But with the magic of YouTube, you can see there that I painted the inside of that frame with my white chalk paint. And I'm just taking my chippy brush here with a tiny little bit of um, Java chalk paint by Folk Art. It's a dark brown. And I'm just distressing the inside just a tiny little bit like the inspiration. And now I'm just going to take some painter's tape here and um, because we're going to paint the frame up. So I wanted to make sure that nothing was uh, going to leak through or anything like that. And I didn't want to get any um, additional paint on my white surface there. And I'm using Celery by Waverly. Um, and we're just going to give that two coats all the way around the frame. I love this celery color. It's so pretty for fall too. Um, I'm really into like the neutrals and the greens and like the browns and stuff like that for fall this year. So, um, but you guys can paint this whatever color you want. Obviously, I'm just more going by what the inspiration photo was showing, but you know, you can do that whatever color you want. 
And so you can see there that I cut out this decal on my Cricut. The fall is actually like the word fall is an image from Cricut Design Space. And the lettering, the I love and most of all is American typewriter font. So um, I use that font all the time. It's one of my absolute favorites. And so I thought it would be perfect for this project here. So just placing that decal down onto my artist canvas. And then here is where you can see the orange. I didn't like that orange, you guys. It just, it was too light. I just didn't like it. And so I'm using some tumbling tower blocks just to give that uh, leaf a little bit more dimension so it pops off. And that is it. Like how easy is that, you guys? And you can see here, theirs was 28 bucks and I did mine for $5. All right, you guys, and here we go with DIY number two. And so this, isn't this so pretty? This project is pretty much an exact dupe. So I'm so excited to show you how I did it. So I am taking this um, paper package. It's called Farmhouse. I got it at Michael's. And this pattern of the scrapbook paper is absolutely perfect for this project. But of course, you guys, like, when I'm making these things, you can use whatever you want. And snap! You can see here that I printed off on my Cricut using the pen this design that I designed myself in Cricut Design Space. And I'm using this 8x8 artist palette from Dollarama. And I'm just lining it up here so that I can um, cut it out. So just tracing around the sides and taking it off my cutting mat there. And now I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and cut that out so that it fits on top of my artist palette. Just like that. Just snipping it off. And this design was super easy for me to create, but for your convenience, you will see here that I will, um, uh, I'm attaching uh, the design that I came up with. You can take a screenshot right now if you want to. I will also have it on my Instagram and I will post it on my community tab so that you can screenshot it or try to download it, whatever you need to do. And then you can just use your printer and any kind of paper and you can print it off. And so here I am just going to take my antique wax and I am going to put that all over this artist palette just like so and make sure that you hit the edges with that antique wax as well and so here oh my gosh you guys like did you see the amount of mod podge that i just put on that <laughs> that artist about like what was i thinking i have no idea you do not do not need to use that much mod podge so you can see there like i'm taking a whole bunch of it off um just a nice you know even layer and then I'm just taking my hands and really rubbing this down onto the artist palette. And then I actually do end up grabbing my little roller tool here so that it's nice and adhered to my the wood on there. And there we go. Isn't it so nice? Oh my goodness. Now, word to the wise, do not put Mod Podge over top. You will smudge your ink. I tested it before I actually did it. And yes, you will smudge it. It does not need Mod Podge over top. And so here I'm taking the jumbo craft sticks from Walmart, just cutting those down to size, just like that, two different sizes, just kind of eyeballed it. And then, whoa, did you see that? Painted them up with white chalk paint. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, so awesome. 
And so here I cut these decals out on my Cricut as well. Um, off the top of my head, I do not remember the fonts, but I did write them down. I will have them down in my description box. So it says autumn vibes and what I ended up doing, like I, I wanted these to pop off, but I did not want to use the tumbling tower blocks because they're too thick. So I just took some pieces of those, um, those craft sticks and I cut little pieces and then I am gluing them together so that I can have something to adhere the words to the frame so that they pop off, but they're not like too high. I just thought that the tumbling tower blocks were just gonna be a little bit too high popping off of this project and this worked perfectly so i'm just using some hot glue and gluing those on just like that make sure they're nice and straight and that is it for this project you guys like it's identical to the inspiration piece theirs is eight dollars i did mine for half price whoop, whoop. doesn't it look awesome Alright everybody, I hope that you are enjoying these Kirkland's dupes today. I just wanted to pop in here to remind you that if you like home decor on a budget, stuff that looks like super high end but you really didn't pay very much for it, like hashtag Della Store, then you've come to the right place. So make sure that you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that your notifications are set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And with that being said, you guys, let's get back into those projects. And here we go with DIY number three. So these pumpkins on the Kirkland's website, look at the price. $56 like that's insane insane and so oh, what we're gonna do is take these leaves from the Dollar Tree and oh, we're gonna cover these pumpkins with those leaves so what you can do like if you wanted to um, have it the same as the inspiration piece you can absolutely paint these leaves um, I actually like the color I think that the color is really really nice and so I decided to leave them as is so I'm just going to use my hot glue and we are going to go all around this pumpkin with these leaves so on the bottom you can see I am adhering the entire leaf so that it sits nice and flat on the bottom so that you know it'll stand up straight and there isn't anything like impeding it when it's when it's sitting on your shelf or wherever you're gonna put your lovely pumpkin and I'm just staggering the leaves to bring them up the uh, the side of the pumpkin there so you can see like I'll put some down in the spaces and then the next row will be a little bit higher up in the spaces and around and around and around we go all the way to the top and here we're just finishing it off making sure that all of the orange is covered and there we go look at that oh look at our cute little pumpkin it doesn't really look like a pumpkin right now but just wait it will don't you worry don't you worry your pretty little face <laughs> And so these leaves come in this multicolor pack as well. Um, so I wanted to use all of these colors too. So um, going around and again, I'm just staggering these out. This is a taller pumpkin. So um, obviously like the configuration of the leaves is a little bit different, but that's okay. Uh, going all the way up and around. Now you will notice if you want to do like a very even amount of the colors you will need three packages of the multicolored just so you guys know um, but the green I'm pretty sure I only used 
two packages of those leaves. Always have an extra just in case, right? But two for the green one, and then I did use three for this taller one. And around and around, finishing it off, um, loading my glue gun. <laughs> and continuing on and so you can see they're kind of sticking out quite a bit I do kind of like push them down and kind of bend them so that they follow the curve of the pumpkin a little bit better too and then we are going to look at them look at how cute oh my goodness look at them they're so cute I love these pumpkins and so what I decided to do, because I felt like it was kind of flat, right? So I am taking my chippy brush and my white chalk paint, and we are just going to bring out all of those awesome details from those leaves. So I was very, you know, careful at the beginning because I didn't want, like I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, right? So I was just, you know, calmly, dry brushing, you know, a little bit of the white chalk paint, decided that it looked really awesome, and then started to go a little bit heavier, which you will see right away here. So there we go, look at that. Oh my goodness, all of those ridges uh, from those leaves are just popping. They're popping off. <laughs> And I do the same thing to the multicolored pumpkin as well. Just going around, dry brushing that white on there to bring out all of those fantastic details. Oh, I love it. And so here I'm using a uh, macrame cord and we are going to kind of, you know, make this look more like a pumpkin. So I just hot glue the end on the top there and then just wrap it around hot glue on the bottom and then bring it all the way up on the top there hot glue and then change directions because we want to do this three times around the pumpkin so we'll go in a slightly different direction and hot glue it down and then bring it back up to the top and then we will change directions one more time to fill in that other space there just like that smushing it down this makeup tool like this makeup spatula is awesome when you are using hot glue by the way it's great and then just smushing that on there and there we go and we will do the same thing to the little green pumpkin as well in a second evidently <laughs> So I got these packs of little, I don't know, stumps, branches, whatever they might be, um, to use as the peduncle on my pumpkin. Look at how cute it is. See, now it looks like a pumpkin. So we are just going to do the exact same thing using that macrame cord, going around the green pumpkin as well. And just like that and then switch directions and smushing that down <laughs> with my spatula and then going around and then hot glue and then one more time in the other or in the uh, last direction there going around snipping it off hot gluing it down i love these aren't they cute tell me tell me down in the comments like i think they turned out so so nice and high-end looking like come on those are fantastic there we go our pumpkins are all done they're peduncled <laughs> so there's worth 56 dollars i did mine for nine bucks you guys nine dollars and look at how cute they are Here we go, you guys, last one, DIY number four. Now this one is purely inspired by because I just thought that these polka dot pumpkins were so cute, but this does not end up being even close to what the Kirkland's um, 
the Kirkland's thing is like not even close, but all good. It still turns out so beautifully. So this pumpkin I got last year at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I haven't seen them. I don't know if Dollar Tree brought them out again this year. I am trying my best to craft my stash as much as I possibly can because I kind of went a little bit crazy last year with fall uh, stuff from the Dollar Tree. So, you know, bear with me. Um, but I took some of my white chalk paint and my Java and I made this kind of, you know, light taupey brown color. I love this color. It is fantastic. It's such a nice, sweet brown. It kind of reminds me of like chocolate milk. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> and so this pumpkin I got at Dollarama. Dollarama actually wised up this year and there's no glitter on these, which is fantastic. Thank you so much, Dollarama. I hate glitter. You guys know I hate glitter. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just peeled off the paper that was on the back of that as well, or the front, I guess. Took off the label. I will say for sure the Dollar Tree labels come off way better than the Dollarama labels do. You could still see the sticky stuff on there. Not a big deal, but you know, just gotta say. Dollarama, you know, get your stuff together. We don't like sticky labels. <laughs> <laughs> so I painted that up with my white chalk paint and this is actually the back of a pumpkin candle thing um, from oh you saw that you saw the magic I painted it up with my moss green paint <laughs> my moss green paint from Waverly um, but anyways, it's one of those wooden candle holders. One side has slits in it. The other side is just solid. Um, so that's what I used for that final pumpkin. And so now to do the polka dots, I don't have a dauber. Okay. I've looked for a dauber. I could find a dauber. I thought I purchased daubers. I don't have any. So what I'm doing here, I'm just taking a mechanical pencil and I'm using the eraser as my dauber. So, you know, dunk it into some paint and then daub it on there. Just like you if you had a dauber. <laughs> Um, have, a, have a drink every time, every time I say dauber. <laughs> and so just going around doing this polka dot pattern on this pumpkin. Like how cute is that? I love that. And so with my moss green pumpkin, um, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dry brush, uh, with some white chalk paint, um, and just kind of following the curves of what a pumpkin would have right so you can kind of see there you know going in a round motion following the curves of the pumpkin there and I'm going to do the exact same thing to that lovely chocolate milk brown pumpkin as well <laughs> just like that and it just gives it some dimension right like it oh it looks so good and so here I'm using the stand of that uh, bigger pumpkin there and we're just going to um, adhere all of these pumpkins together so because this one is going to be in front like the polka dot one is in front i am just hot gluing some small craft sticks so that it makes it like so that it's flush right and then um, hot gluing that on and using one of these little metal leaves that i pulled off of another like a ceramic pumpkin from Dollar Tree. And I made these finger bows using some twine. Um, and I'm just placing those onto the tops of the pumpkins here. Like how cute is, oh, I love this. It's so adorable, oh my goodness. And the colors, oh, mwah. chef's kiss, love it. All right, hot glue bows on. And so I figured I just needed just something more because you know it, I'm extra so we had to continue on right so I'm just using these paper flowers I got these at Dollarama but I have seen them at the Dollar Tree you guys so look out for the paper flowers I think they're so cute and that is it so really because it's not a dupe this doesn't make a lot of sense but I did mine for six dollars theirs was 44 love it
All right, you guys, that is it for this fall Kirkland dupes video today. I really hope that you enjoyed these projects. I absolutely loved making these. It's nice to get down in the craft room again. I know I've been slacking and I'm really sorry about that. You guys, I've just really been enjoying my summer, but I am trying to post a little bit more often here. Hopefully I will get back to once a week. Now, of course, you guys let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. Can you get out of the shot? <laughs> <laughs> She's back. All right, you guys. So I hope that you're enjoying these Kirkland's dupes. I just wanted to pop in here really quickly just to remind you that if you, just to remind just you. Just to remind you. <laughs> that that if you want. <laughs> All right, you guys, so today, <laughs> bring it back, <laughs> reel it in. Wait, 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 what is it? Cut. <laughs> so may, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh me? Hmm? 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 Just like that, you see? Pro. Very much adequate. Very much indeed. That was good. Oh, thank you. Bussin. 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 That was, was bussin. Bussin. <coughs> <laughs> 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 what are you, what are the viewers? The wonderful viewers that view my wonderful mother's channel. What do you guys think of pumpkin spice? Mm. Like, do we like pumpkin spice? Do we not like pumpkin spice? Is it just too much pumpkin spice? Let us know down in the comments, Let you guys. Comments. Spice or no spice? Oh, we're going to be spice queens this <laughs> <laughs>